today, we'll be getting rid of this string, which doesn't seem to convey much information other than what device we are at. Instead, we'll be renaming it to something like your name, at the rate, and the distribution of the Ubuntu or Linux which you're using, followed by the path. To do this, all you need is a text editor. You can use any text editor. As of now, I'll be using Visual Studio Code. To run that, type the shortcut which you use to open the text editor from the Ubuntu command line. For VS Code, it will be code, followed by the tilde, forward slash, period, and bash rc. Bash rc is the name of the file which we'll be making changes to in order to get rid of this string. After that, click on enter. It will open up a bash rc file in the text editor of your choice. So you can do this by two ways. The simplest one, we just go to the end of the, the bash rc file and just type export ps1 equal to in quotes backslash u which indicates the username at the rate and backslash w which indicates the working directory space followed by a dollar symbol after this just click on save and if you go back and open the distribution again or restart the distribution you'll see the name is gone but the issue is if you go back to the previous thing it's color coded like your name and the device name is in green color while the path is specified in blue but we are losing out on that this element there this might be a problem later if you activate python you see you can't differentiate between the code lines or the python and the directory or the username so what you can do let me just exit from here Instead of making changes there, let me just comment this. You just scroll up, you can just do control F to find the PS1 string. So right now there are three. What you need to do is just remove backslash H, which is after U at the rate. That is H will remove the hardware information. This won't be causing any problem. It's just a string which is used to specify the hardware information. Just remove this H along with the backslash. And you can just leave it like this or type the name of the distribution which you want to specify. Dot Ubuntu since we are using Ubuntu terminal after this just click save and go back to the Ubuntu and if you run it again you'll see that the string of the device name has been changed to the string of the distribution name you can change it to anything of your choice or you can leave it empty and after that, if you go back and restart the Ubuntu, it will just show you a name along with the current directory. That's all for the video.